हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रूबल शूट दिस नेटवर्क दैट मींस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू ट्रूबल शूट पैट पोर्ट एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन और यू कैन से नेट नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन सो दिस इज माय टोपोलॉजी इन दिस टोपोलॉजी एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज राउटर 1 दिस इज माय एज राउटर एंड दिस इज राउटर 2 दिस इज माय अनदर एज राउटर सो आई हैव टू एज राउटर बोथ आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू इंटरनेट एंड ऑन इंटर इंटरनेट आई एम रनिंग वन लुक बैक एट डॉट एट डॉट एट एंड थ्रू इंटरनेट वन सर्वर इज कनेक्टेड विद आई पी एड्रेस इज टू हंड्रेड डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू ओके सो हियर ऑन माई एज रॉटर्स आई एम रनिंग पोर्ट एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन पैट बट प्रॉब्लम इज दिस यूजर यूजर फ्रॉम दिस नेटवर्क फ्रॉम वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो नेटवर्क आर एबल टू एक्सेस इंटरनेट देर इज नो एनी प्रॉब्लम बट the user from this network 192.168.1.0 network right is not able to access internet that means these user are not able to access internet and these user are able to access internet so as a network engineer you need to troubleshoot what is the misconfiguration uh, in this network in this network because here these user are not able to access internet so first of all let me show you that these user are able to access internet so first of all let me show you ip configuration on internet router so here you can see on internet router f0/0 i am running ip 100.1.1.2/30 right on f1/0 which is connected to router which is connected to server right on this interface i am running ip 200.1.1.1 and on the interface which is connected to router 2 i am running 101.1.1.2 ip address i am running one loop back that is 8.8.8.8 fine so this is ip configuration of internet router okay now let me show you the ip configuration of router 2 guys so ip interface brief exclude and assign so here also you can see on fast ethernet 0/0 which is connected to my lan switch ip address is 192.168.20.10 and ip address on f1/0 which is connected to my internet i am running this ip address 101.1.1.1 okay let me ping 8.8.8.8 so you can see i am able to ping 8.8.8 and my lan user is also able to ping 8.8.8 source let me ping from interface f0/0 from my lan interface so see my lan user is also able to access internet okay but and let me ping server as well ping 200.1.1.2 and source is suppose f0/0 which is my lan interface so you can see so lan user from 192.168.20.0 network are able to access internet are able to access http server suppose this is google server right so these user are able to access internet but here these user are not able to access internet let me show you first of all configuration ip configuration of router 1 so ip interface brief exclude and assign So see IP address on fast Ethernet zero slash zero, which is connected to internet. On this interface, I am running IP one hundred dot one dot one dot one. Guys, this interface is administratively down, so definitely first of all we need to run no such command here. Interface F zero slash zero and say no such. Fine. Now you can see IP address on LAN interface is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot. 1.10 okay and let me ping 8.8.8 from here so see i am not able to ping 8.8.8 from here so first of all we need to troubleshoot that why i am not able to ping 8.8.8 so first of all i am going to ping my public ip address which is running on isp end that is 100.1.1.2 so yes i am able to ping my public ip address which is connected to internet now let me check routing table is there default root or not so ip root 
so guys you can see there is no default route so as you know on edge router we need to configure a default route so first of all let me configure default route ip root 0.0.0 0.0.0 and exit interface is f0/0 and next stop ip address will be 100.1.1.2 can i ping 8.8.8 .8 now ping 8.8.8.8 so yes now i am able to ping 8.8.8 but can my lan user ping 8.8.8 source f1/0 see no my lan user is are not able to access internet so now we need to troubleshoot the nat configuration the pat configuration okay so first of all i am going to check routing table of this router first of all you will check ip address then routing table after that you will check nat configuration so as you know ip configuration is fine so ip interface brief exclude and assign you can see state is up and protocol is also up right and i am able to ping my neighbor public ip address so that means connect there is connectivity there is no any problem in connectivity or you can check run so cdp command as well if uh you are configuring cisco devices otherwise you can check uh, lldp neighbor so here you can see cdp neighbor in cdp neighbor it's saying that internet is my neighbor okay now i am going to check routing table so ip route so here you can see now there is one default route so okay fine now we will check nat configuration so so run a section ip nat so here you can see ip nat inside and ip nat inside source list 10 okay interface fast ethernet 0/0 overload so first of all you can see here engineer have configure ip nat inside but engineer have not configure ip nat outside right so first of all we have to identify that this command is running on which interface so let me maximize it guys and i am going to check so ip interface f which interface which is my lan interface inside interface is f1/0 f1/0 so here what we can do we can check like this so run interface f1/0 so here you can see okay here you can see configuration is ip nat inside okay now let me check configuration on f0/0 which is my public interface here you can see engineer have not configure ip nat outside so first of all on my public interface we need to run command ip nat outside and now let me check am i able to ping 8.8.8 from my lan interface source f1/0 so no still i am not able to access internet now what i will do see guys again i will check nat configuration so run section ip nat so here you can see ip nat outside ip nat inside command is running right so first of all you will check interface that on right interface you are running right command or not inside in ip nat inside and ip nat outside for that you will run so running configuration interface f0/0 so this is my outside interface so here you can see i am running ip nat outside in the same way you will check inside interface so here you can see i am running ip nat inside now let me check configuration nat configuration here okay so command is ip nat inside source list 10 so now i am going to check list access list 10 is access list 10 is configured correctly or not so so access list guys there is no any access list configured on this router so first of all we need to configure access list here so go to config t after that access list suppose access list number is 10 then permit which network 192.168.1.0 which is my inside network wildcard mask will be this one 
enter fine and now if you will verify so access list so you can see access list 10 is configured this one is your network id and this one is your wildcard mask so ip nat translation not statics okay so now let me ping internet ping 8.8.8.8 and this time source is again f1 slash 0 and now you can see i am able to ping internet now my LAN user can access internet right so this is how you build troubleshoot NAT configuration right you will check access list configuration running configuration interfaces configuration right default root configuration after that you will check uh, path configuration you will check access list configuration that access list is configured correct or not okay so by using these command you can troubleshoot NAT network address translation but as you know LAN 1 this LAN cannot communicate with this LAN for that we need to configure VPN over here right we need to create VPN tunnel so in next video we will discuss how to troubleshoot a VPN tunnel okay first we will discuss basic VPN troubleshooting then we will discuss advanced things okay but guys if you learn something from this video please subscribe this channel because I am getting watch time from uh, the people who haven't subscribed my channel I am getting getting watch time from the 74 percent people who is not subscribed my channel that means I am getting watch time only from my subscriber is uh, uh, 30 percent right so I am getting only 30 percent watch time from my subscriber that means lot of people are watching my video but they haven't subscribed my channel so that's not fair if you learn something if you are learning something from this channel it's your responsibility to subscribe so if you like this video please hit on like button and if you haven't subscribed till now please subscribe this channel okay we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys